There is a realistic possibility you may develop a rash from wearing your fitness tracker or smartwatch. Many people do. This is a fact some manufacturers tend to gloss over. The good news is that there are things you can do to prevent this from happening. A rash is a common symptom that can occur due to a variety of causes. It is characterized by a change in the texture or color of the skin, which can appear as redness, itching, inflammation, blisters, or bumpiness. Many people focus on technical specifications such as sensors, battery life, memory, and processing power when purchasing wearables. However, it is also important to consider the device's potential impact on the skin. Wrist rashes caused by wearable technology can be very bothersome and uncomfortable for those who experience them. Not something that you want from a device that is meant to improve your health and fitness. Rashes can make wearing a fitness band or smartwatch difficult, if not impossible, and can impair the user's ability to track their activity and use other features. Take the example of Fitbit. It made headlines in 2014 when it recalled its Force wearable fitness band. While wearing the device, some users developed rashes on their wrists. The device had only been on the market for five months and was meant to be the high-profile successor to the Fitbit Flex. Approximately one million units of the product were ultimately recalled. Everyone's skin is unique, but there are a number of common reasons wearing a fitness tracker can cause your skin to revolt. Manufacturers have an important part to play. Strap material. The strap material is an extremely important factor when it comes to preventing wrist rashes caused by wearable technology. The strap or wristband is in contact with the skin for extended periods of time, increasing the likelihood of irritation or allergic reactions. Certain materials, such as rubber, silicone, and synthetic fabrics, can cause skin irritation, especially in people with sensitive skin. Leather or fabric, on the other hand, are less likely to cause rashes because they are hypoallergenic, breathable, and non-irritating. So experiment with different strap materials. Most wearables these days allow you to switch straps around. So invest into a quality alternative to the default one that comes with your device. Allergies to metal. The nickel used to make stainless steel parts in wearables is often a culprit, as some people have nickel sensitivity. Almost one in five people in North America are allergic to nickel, including 11 million children. Exposure to other mixed metals in the device and parts of the strap can also be a culprit. Soap. Substances such as soap are irritants to the skin. Most soaps contain a combination of ingredients like lye and oil, as well as a variety of perfumes and coloring agents, all of which can provoke irritation in sensitive individuals. Other related irritants include dishwasher soap, bubble bath, and body washes. These liquids can get trapped under a band, and after a while, the harsh chemicals begin irritating the skin. Sweat. This is another common cause. If your band is too tight, your sweat ducts may become blocked. This can be particularly problematic on a humid summer day, or when you have been exercising intensively. If your skin is interacting with sweat for longer periods, it is more likely to start irritating. So post-exercise, make sure not to wait very long before jumping in the shower. The solution might be as simple as cleaning your wearable regularly. Trapped moisture and bacteria are very likely causes of discomfort. After activities where you sweat or your skin gets wet, clean and completely dry both your wrist and the fitness band before re-wearing. You can also clean your device with a mild soap-free cleanser such as Cetaphil or Aquanil. Even water and a soft cotton wipe will do. Make sure to do this on a regular basis. A dirty band is not only bad for your skin, it may also interfere with the performance of your sensors. When you put it back on, Make sure that both your skin and the strap are dry. Additionally, wear the band loosely enough so that it can move back and forth on your wrist. The other option is to loosen it when you are not working out. Then you can tighten it when, for example, going for a run. A final word of note, breathing is good for you and it is good for your skin too. So give your wrist some air. You don't really need to wear your fitness tracker or smartwatch nonstop. Reward your skin with some wearable holiday time. Take the band off for 20 minutes each day during uninteresting events, such as when you are showering or when you are sitting working on a computer. 
It's not the end of the world if you miss logging a few steps. Your wrists will thank you for it.